An act of protest or an inadvertent accident? 33-year-old El Nas Rikabi, here competing in South Korea, did not wear the headscarf that is not only mandatory for women in Iran, but also for those who represent the country abroad. A statement posted on her Instagram account explained that it was unintentional. It is not clear, however, if she wrote the text herself. When she arrived to Tehran early Wednesday morning, she was greeted by crowds of supporters and her family and explained the situation at the South Korea competition to the Islamic Republic's own news agency. I was unexpectedly called and I had to compete. I was busy putting on my shoes and technical gear and that caused me to forget to put on the hijab I had to be wearing. Then I went to compete. Fortunately, I came back to Iran with peace of mind, although I went through a lot of tension and stress so far. Thank God nothing has happened. It is questionable if these comments were made voluntarily. After arriving at the airport in Tehran, El Nas Rekabi's whereabouts became unknown. Meanwhile, the anti-regime protests in Iran continue. The demonstrations were initially triggered by the death of 22-year-old Kurdish woman Mahsa Jina Amini in September. She had been arrested for not wearing her hijab properly. Since then, protesters have flooded the streets in dozens of cities to demand an end to the Islamic Republic and its modesty laws. The uprising is widely supported by university students, but also young schoolgirls were seen breaking the hijab laws in an act of protest. The regime trying to combat these demonstrations has arrested hundreds, and human rights organizations estimate that more than 200 people have been killed so far, including minors. A month after demonstrations erupted across Iran, the unabated violent response by security forces against protesters and reports of arbitrary arrests and the killing and detention of children are deeply worrying. Some sources suggest that as many as 23 children have been killed um, and many others injured. Protests are now in their fifth week. El Nazir Kabi has already become a new symbol for the bravery of Iranian women fighting for the right to decide for themselves whether they want to cover their hair or not and for freedom.